Ayurveda is the world's oldest and most comprehensive system of natural medicine. Ayurveda originated in the Vedic civilization of ancient India and is recognized by the World Health Organization. Ayurveda says that before we exist in physical form, we existed in a more subtle form known as the soul. See, as far as gems are concerned, this aspect of gems are discussed in the Rasyastra context of Ayurveda. Here, Rasa, Ayurvedic uh, chemists generally believe, or alchemists generally believe, that the whole world is pervaded by Rasa. Rasa, they mean Mercury. And uh, now, to give the symbolic effect, Shiva seems to be the lord of Rasa. All the material evolved from Rasa is combined in that particular comp uh, the comprehensive compendium called Rasa Shastra. There are very various uh, good books, uh, I mean, attributed to this science. There are about uh, nine major gems which are uh, neatly dealt with in this literature. In today's day-to-day uh, -day life, not all of them are uh, generally prescribed because of their cost prohibitiveness. Otherwise, most of them can be generally used in the in a day-to-day -day practice. I would like to mention that Ayurveda has got eight branches, out of which Rashastra is one which deals with all the minerals, animal and herbal products and other things. The gems come under this particular category. It can also be called the Ayurvedic alchemy because it deals with all such materials. The speciality about this particular branch is that it, uh, it can treat in the cases of emergency and acute conditions because it can be used in very small doses. That is the main reason why it is so famous. Gems are a concentrated form of energy. They have more energy than the other what you call herbal uh, components. That is why they are valued both by as far as their price is concerned and as far as the value or the what you call the energy part is concerned. Rashastra, why Rashastra attains importance is the, the, the features of this, the, these preparations prepared out of these rasas or gems and other things, they are alpamatratvat. They can be, the dosage is very small. Bahuvegitvat. They, they, they act very precisely and penetrate very fast. Something like an antibiotic or a steroid or something like that. And, uh, and uh, they, have, they have no taste they have no taste. So, it is very easy to uh, give, uh, give uh, the patients. 